Yeah, I've obviously watched the Comedy Store documentary. I thought it was flipping awesome. Um, one of my um, yeah, one of one of one of the better things I've watched during the during this Godforsaken year, and also a good sort of um eye opening account as to uh, it provides more context as to why these comedians in LA seem to go on and on about the Comedy Store and the role it's played in various people's careers and all that good stuff and um just the cultural relevancy of it, right? Um, and obviously, you know, things have changed with COVID. Um, obviously, things have changed in California, point blank. Um, whoever's in charge over there doesn't seem to be willing to take any chances with COVID. They've shut major parts of the economy down. They've declared essential workers to be Hollywood actors and supporting staff but not allowed local businesses to run in any meaningful way. So the comedy scene, for the most part, has essentially been shuttered ever since COVID struck. So people have been struggling to kind of get up on stage in general. So with that and kind of, you know, maybe coinciding with you know what's going on politically and whatever it may be and uh, the deal Joe Rogan when he signed the deal with Spotify decided to leave and obviously go to Texas um you know varying reasons but um some of the rumors out there were that he wanted to obviously get back on stage again and it wasn't going to happen anytime soon in LA and he's been proven right right he's been good, able to go on tour with Chappelle, Dave Chappelle and do some stuff at his place where he was I think it's Ohio he had some sort of like summer camp thing that they were doing but he's also spoken in kind of you know um, vague terms about potentially opening up his own club in Texas and we haven't really sp heard him speak about it too much since then but on this recent episode of the Irish Affair Skeptic Kank he kind of divulges a little bit more about what he's going to do um, in Texas with the comedy club and how he intends to sort of set it up and kind of give a bit of background and I guess it's going to and I think in my opinion it's a great idea you know of course he's a how, of course he's one of the you know bigger names in comedy which obviously he's obviously extremely wealthy and whatever he's doing but i also do think he has this tendency to be a little bit of a spokesperson a little bit more of a man of the people or co no, a comedians comedian or comedians comedian. he's an advocate for comedians right he's always trying to promote people big them up put them on his platform just generally speak very glowingly about them so i would assume this comedy club would you know it will obviously be a little bit of a selfish indulgence but it'll also be an opportunity for him to sort of give back and provide at a place a stage for people to go up and tell jokes and for those people who want to go and see them they can go see them too you know in a state like texas which has been a little bit more relaxed in terms of how they deal with the restrictions it definitely makes a lot of sense let's play the clip and hear what joe rogan has to say regarding it this is via Arisha fears um instagram page boom, boom, boom show with Chappelle last week at Stubbs barbecue in in Austin 400 in outside. people outside. Yep, 400 people all of them tested no masks regular show packed in yeah how did they get tested how did they do it we tested them before the show oh the, the quick turnaround test yes everybody got there a couple hours early tested outside. everyone takes 15 minutes two people out of 1200 people that dave was there for three days 1200 people only two people tested positive they sent they those left. people home yep and everybody else got to go to the show no mask have a great time it was magic it was magical it was incredible it was like all of a sudden we're back like all of a sudden comedy's back that's what needs to be done and it's going to cost money but it can be done and that's my plan for austin my plan for Austin is to get a club and hire like 10 fucking nurses and test everybody. I love it. I think it's a great idea. And I think it's something that we could definitely see get implemented in clubs. I think the only way a club can operate, you know, in, in any meaningful way is to have some sort of level of testing to allow people to go packed in because there's no way you can do any sort of social distancing clubbing. We've already seen the videos of these play graves where people are playing in the middle of deserts with people standing in hula hoops and spaced out and all this sort of nonsense. It's ridiculous, right? Especially earlier on, um, Gerd Jansen, unfortunately, has been cemented in history as being one of the first people to play a COVID um, restricted party in a perspect box, uh, you know, on a race platform with people standing on spray painted circles, right? Horrendous raving experience so the only way to do it possibly is to have you know these quick turnaround tests people go to a, a, a testing point get tested get the results very quickly and then once they be able to prove that they're negative able to go in a venue as per normal um and that's just just what we're gonna have to do especially with the vaccine in place as well it just makes more more sense um but i'm interested to see what he does with the comedy store how he's gonna able to operate it will it be something that he manages himself will it be something he kind of hires a team to do will he have his face front and center of it or will it be something that he kind of just support like almost supports in the same way that he does on it right he's not in front of he's not on all the commercial he's on some commercial don't get me wrong but he doesn't really he doesn't really 
treat it like I don't know how to say. It. Do you know what I mean? He's a bit hands off. It's a bit like you know at a distance with on it. He obviously promotes it like his own company, but he still kind of you know uh, maintains some level of objectivity to it, which kind of helps, I guess, maybe with his overall image. So let's see what happens because you know comedians are weird, isn't it? So I wonder if some of them will feel a bit of a way. Um, with him being the guy that's doing this I don't know but I think it's a great idea regardless so hopefully we'll see and hear about that comedy store opening up very very soon